Good to see you, Alexander. I mean, look, Sakas really knew he was going to be arrested as soon as he landed back home. So why did he do it? That's a very good question. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but I think he calculated that his return to Georgia will galvanize his supporters. And uh, critically, he thought that the elections which were hold, local elections which were hold uh, a couple of days after his return, would uh, result in defeat for the government and new parliamentary elections next year, and then uh, he could return to power in, in that way. That didn't work out. Uh, the elections uh, were not won by the uh, opposition, so uh, now the next elections are in four years' time. So he is a bit stuck in that sense that, uh, I guess, if that was his gamble, that didn't quite pay off. Now he wants, uh, he, he, I suppose he has to rely on mass protests, which will topple the government and kind of free him from prison that way. What do you think the likelihood is of that? Tens of thousands turning up to support him is pretty impressive. But will he be released? Or if he's not released, could he still have political influence from prison? Will he be able to communicate with the outside world? Oh, he's been communicating very well uh, from prison through his lawyers. He's been giving interviews and so forth and uh, writing letters. He's announced his um, hunger strike and so forth. So, yeah, no, there he is able to keep himself in the media I for uh, for a while, uh, yet. Yeah, but uh, yeah, big question: if just uh, how much uh, protest there will be in his support? Because I mean, he has been away from Georgia for a long time. Yes, he has a party, but the party hasn't really been winning uh, kind of majority of elections. I mean, there are uh, local elections in uh, big cities uh, coming up in a, few, a couple of weeks' time which uh, opposition, uh, pro Saakashvili opposition, might still win. Uh, so that could give another impetus. But uh, broadly speaking, uh, that was a gamble, and I'm not sure it kind of quite paid off. Uh, judging by today's events, uh, it's not quite as you know, critical as, uh, for the government uh, as it might have been. What did you make of the whole uh, process in terms of the charges against him and the trial and the... Uh, prison sentence. Uh, was it all pretty straightforward as far as you could see, or was there something political behind it that may have influenced the sentencing? Well, I mean, uh, it's very hard uh, to kind of disentangle political and judicial um, uh, processes here. Obviously, um, uh, there were um, kind of some um, grounds. I guess you can always find some grounds for, 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 uh, for those sentences, and there were uh, kind of breaches of law under his his um, uh, presidentship, uh, particularly in the later stages. Uh, but at the same time, yes, I mean, that was done uh, to, to prevent him from coming back uh, to Georgia. He knew about that, so when he decided to um, uh, to come back endless. I just don't see how it can end up uh, with either a complete meltdown by the government and a disappearance, and they still have all the levers of power, and broadly speaking, they're still winning elections. Uh, however, hotly contested. Um, uh, so, uh, if they re let him go, that would be the end of them, and I don't, uh, I don't see uh, they would be uh, ready to do it anytime soon. So, I think um, uh, these charges uh, will have to be uh, enforced by him staying in jail for uh, quite a few, a few years now. Uh, Alexander, what about Moscow's influence in Georgian politics these days? Well, I don't think there is a much difference so far as Moscow is concerned between the current government and the um, and Saakashvili government. They are all uh, avowedly anti-Moscow, uh, uh, very pro-Western. Uh, the uh, kind of major policy aims is to join NATO, to join EU. Not that it's going to happen, but nevertheless, that's kind of the proclaimed um, aim of Georgian foreign policy. Uh, so, uh, so, yeah, Georgia, I don't think there is a kind of a huge amount to choose from. I mean, there is kind of personal issues with Georgia, kind of uh, Putin uh, and Saakashvili and so forth. So he's kind of, uh, you know, to more toxic uh, politician uh, uh, for Moscow than uh, the current ones are. But, you know, in terms of pure policies and their direction, I don't think there's much difference between them. Really appreciate your time, Alexander. Thank you so much indeed. Alexander Titov from Queen's University, Belfast. <laughs>